A witch hunt is underway to find who was responsible for failures in the Bureau of Statistics computer system which shut down this year's census. The Prime Minister says the online census should be working again today, but he's put staff at the computer giant IBM and in the Bureau of Statistics on notice that heads will roll for not countering what was a predictable attack. From Canberra, a political reporter, Caitlin Gribben. Disaster management's underway. This hasn't been the greatest week uh, uh, for us. The good news apparently is that uh, there has been no hacking. Look, it's like parking uh, you know, the truck in front of the driveway. The truck hasn't actually entered the building or uh, got any information. And recriminations are starting. It's the government who puts out press releases talking about the ABS, but now it's all uh, turned to custard. You've got the uh, Malcolm Turnbull running a million miles from it. The Prime Minister is angry. The ABS has inconvenienced millions of Australians. Shouldn't have happened, right? I'm not happy. I'm not happy about it. None of us are. He's warning there'll be serious consequences over the failure to prepare for the cyber attacks, which forced the ABS to shut down the census website on Tuesday night. There is no doubt that there was a failure on the part of there is failures on the part of. ABS and its systems provider, all of that is the subject of review. Malcolm Turnbull's special advisor on cyber security will lead an inquiry into whether IBM did enough to shield the national survey from attacks. There's some good learnings that we can apply. But the vast bulk of the time we handle these denial of services really well. We just didn't in this case. Malcolm Turnbull acknowledges lots of people will want to know who's to blame and whether heads will roll as a result of the cyber attacks. But the Prime Minister says his first priority is getting the problem sorted. And there are warnings this won't be the last of the attacks. The search for the culprits already underway at the Signals Directorate. But even if it finds an answer, Australians may never know. It has a certain level of secrecy and discretion that's uh, the highest in government. So I can't commit uh, to releasing everything the ASD finds out. In a statement issued last night, the ABS said it was working with the Australian Signals Directorate and its providers to get the online census form secure and back up as soon as possible. The ABS apologised that the online form was unavailable and was keen to reassure Australians their privacy was the priority. A fiasco unlikely to be forgotten quickly. Caitlin Gribben, ABC News, Canberra.